I've now returned home from uh, Paris uh, and got some rest and this is going to be my last uh, video log about the Paris Agreement. I'm going to give some reflections on what we achieved there. In my view there were two major achievements. The first uh, and the biggest achievement is getting all countries of the world to align themselves to tackling the climate change problem. Uh, the Paris Agreement is a universal agreement, unlike the Kyoto Protocol that preceded it, where only the developed countries had to take action. Now all countries have to take action, and that's a very good sign. And that was one of the biggest achievements uh, of the, uh, the French presidency, of diplomacy, of multilateral working together of countries and leaders from all over the world. And to me, the biggest achievement is moving us in the right direction, all countries moving together. The second big achievement is the one that the vulnerable countries fought for, least developed countries group along with small island states and Africa and the Climate Vulnerable Forum of Leaders going into Paris asking for the long-term temperature goal to be changed from 2 degrees to 1.5 degrees. Going into Paris, although there were 105 countries altogether in favour of this, none of the rich countries were in favour and none of the large developing countries were in favor. And over the course of two weeks, we had to do a lot of diplomacy, public messaging, talking to ministers and officials and negotiators from other countries. And finally, we succeeded. The vulnerable and poor countries succeeded in persuading the rich and powerful countries and the developing powerful countries like China and India to agree to have a long-term temperature goal of one and a half degrees. And that's a huge achievement. It's a very significant achievement. Even though some people say one and a half degrees may be impossible to reach, it may be just a symbolic victory. Symbolism counts. A symbolic victory of one and a half degrees is a very significant victory in and of itself. And it now allows us to push for the realization of that goal. We don't want it just as a symbolic victory. We want it as an actual victory. And now, if we apply the one and a half degree goal to actions that countries are taking and find that those actions are totally inadequate, we can push them to take more action. And so that goal of one and a half degree temperature rise has been a significant victory for us. And the third and final thing I'll say about uh, the COP is to reflect on the presidency. Uh, the achievement of a COP is really the achievement of a presidency and the French presidency of the COP did an outstanding job in terms of listening to everybody, taking their views into account, incorporating everybody's views into the final agreement, which doesn't satisfy everybody because 200 countries don't hold CI to I. It's almost impossible to get everybody to agree. When we tried it six years ago in Copenhagen, we failed. But the French this time made it happen and they did an outstanding bit of diplomacy uh, which, for which they uh, should get credit. And so I'm very pleased that we have the Paris Agreement. Of course, it doesn't solve the problem by itself. It requires implementation. But as we move forward with the one and a half degree goal, we can move towards implementation and make that a reality and not just a symbolic goal.